I just thought I'd show you the other system that I've got that's only for oil that uh, doesn't have any filth in it. So just the stuff that looks pretty clear uh, can be used, um, processed in a system like this. So no water in it, just a little bit of hard fat, but not much. Um, as much like um, large uh, solids as, as you like, like a chicken leg or a chip, it's okay. But uh, we've got a basic system here uh, that you can use if there's no water, not much hard fat. Here we go. So, we've got two plastic oil drums, one on top of the other. The top one is a primary filter device, and it's got a tap on it. Second one, if you see that tube comes out, comes down, and up again, and ends in this ganglion look type thing. It's just, um, we've got six tubes stuffed up a larger tube and, and stuck round with them. Um, Mastic. That goes into a number of trays which hold, guess what, vacuum cleaner bags, there we go. So they're going to go in place, so the tube will go down one side or the other. So basically up here, I've got a uh, glass lid, a piece of cloth, you could use several pieces of cloth uh, you know, to filter out the thick stuff before the thin stuff. So. Um, this is very fine cloth that's there. What, there were three layers in there, but um, I've taken them away as they've, as they've got grotty. So I've only got the last one. I'm going to replace all three soon. So you can probably see there's a bit of oil in there at the moment. It may have all settled down. Okay, uh, viewers, just as a treat, I've got the wonderful Shani here, and uh, she's just going to point at the various elements for you, uh, like a, um, a game show girl. Just... Um, so that uh, it serves as a reminder, really. Okay, so at the top, we've got the primary filtration. Uh, that's got a, a glass uh, lid on it, to, so uh, you've got a bit of passive solar going on there. And some cloths slung inside there, they come down to about halfway, uh, so you get plenty of room for the filter. And then you've got a tap that enables you to turn that um, on and off. No, not yet, to allow it to come through to the uh, the... The, the secondary filtration, which is uh, vacuum cleaner bags, and right down at the bottom, we've got a tube to stick into your little container and uh, and fill it up. So what we can actually do now is, because I've got some that's pre-filtered in the top section, um, if Shani would be so kind as to turn on the tap, we can see it come through. You have to hold it forward, Shani. See, so there it is. I hope you can see that, um, but uh, it's coming down through those tubes, coming into those vacuum cleaner bags, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's going to percolate through those. Remember, they're about half micron size, which is a lot finer than even your fuel filter, so there's no problem there. And yeah. We can hear it dribbling through already. Lovely, lovely. So pretty soon our little uh, sight gauge is going to rise up and we're going to um, put out uh, 20 litres. You're entitled to use in the UK 2,500 litres per year at the moment. This is uh, in, what are we, August 2008. And uh, better look at Customs Excise website to uh, check with that uh, information if it's, uh, if it's later. But um, you have to keep a record of what you've used. So what I do is I keep a diary on the cab and write on 20 litres, 20 litres, 20 litres as I use it. I only ever put in 20 litres because uh, you, know, you have a calibrated can then, don't do 20 litres at a time. All right then, one final look. The glamorous uh, police chat. That's right, wonderful. So, just to remind you, this is for, this is for oils that uh, don't have any heavy contamination. Otherwise, you'll need my other system, um, otherwise detailed, uh, which uh, can deal with all sorts of filth. Good luck.